Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so this video is gonna be a little bit different. I'm just gonna sit here, we're gonna chit chat together. So grab you a cup of tea, some coffee, a protein shake, whatever you got, wine, whatever. Um, because it's just gonna be a little bit different. Like I said, I'm just gonna be sitting here chatting and kind of giving you some updates on my life. And um, so yeah, let's get into it. Okay, um, so I don't recommend, so you know, my channel has been like, it's probably, I'm gonna be all over the place and I apologize, but my channel has been since I started posting again um, a few months ago, consistently like what I eat in a day's grocery hauls, um, more like fitness, cause that's kind of where I am in my life right now. Um, and so I don't, I just wanna let you know, like I don't recommend you like eating healthy. I really, I'm not a nutritionist, I'm not a doctor. I don't recommend it at all. Like honestly, eat whatever you continue to, like if you're, if you're trying to lose weight, don't try to lose weight, don't work out, just kind of stay on the journey that you're on. Um, and the reason why I say that is because I'm pregnant. <laughs> y'all <laughs> your girl is pregnant <laughs> um i can't believe it like i'm pregnant y'all i ended up pregnant because so you know like when you're on a health journey they always say like i don't know well i didn't hear this often but i've been hearing it a lot recently that whenever you lose a bunch of weight, you start eating clean, you know, you get things out of your diet and you're just, you're, you're resetting your body. Um, you become more fertile. My husband and I, this is not a secret. This is not a secret. If you're in my life, if you know me, most people know that I was not trying to have any more kids. Like I have a four year old and I have a 13 year old bonus son. I didn't want any more kids. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I did. I just, I didn't. That's the honest truth. Um, but we are here now and of course I'm going to embrace this baby. Okay. We are embracing it. We are fully embracing it. I feel super pregnant, but we'll get to that later. Um, but I did not want any more kids. This was not in the, in our plan. It was obviously in God's plan. So we are, we are living his plan. Okay. <laughs> but, um, you know, resetting your body makes you more fertile. My husband and I. Like, okay, so I will say, before I had my four-year-old, um, I did have a pregnancy where I miscarried. So some people on my channel um, are following me from that pregnancy journey um, where I kind of discussed losing my son due to incompetent cervix. I actually had preterm labor um, at four months pregnant. I went into labor, my body just started dilating on its own due to me having an incompetent cervix. So it starts dilating once the baby starts getting certain, hev like getting heavier. Um, which for me was around that four month mark of pregnancy. The baby was about a pound and my cervix was weighing down. So anyway, it caused me to dilate, but I have many videos on that um, if you scroll back a few years. But, um, so I do have people following me from that journey. And then I also have people, um, and I did kind of uh, document my, my successful pregnancy, which resulted in my four year old. Um, and so, like I said, I have people follow me from that. I don't know really where I was going with that, but um, I will be documenting this pregnancy um, on my YouTube channel, just like I did before. Um, but um, my husband and I, what I was gonna say was that we were not, oh no, what I was gonna say was that I remember conceiving those two pregnancies. That's what I was gonna say. I remember I know the exact time that those pregnancies were conceived. This one, I have no idea. I mean, obviously it happened, but I don't know when um, because we were not looking for this to happen. So anyway, but I'm married, so it's okay. <laughs> um, it would have been okay either way, but I, I mean, obviously my husband and I are, we're happily married. So neither, like he's actually, more excited than I am and I'm <laughs> um and I am excited but it has it has um I'm on a health journey and I'm I don't want to cry I don't want to cry about this video I am thankful because I know there are some women who um are struggling 
to get pregnant and I was once one of them back in the day so I definitely understand that you know whenever you hear somebody who just fell pregnant and it was just a mistake or whatever whatever or an accident or unexpected you know it's kind of like oh lord I'm sitting here trying and trying every single month and I can't get pregnant I, I, I sympathize 100% um with that being said it has taken a lot like mentally for me to kind of wrap my mind around this um I'm 33 which is not old but um again I was on a health journey um this was supposed to be a hot girl summer <laughs> so um but it's okay so I do not I mean I'm gonna continue to eat healthy <laughs> I'm gonna continue to work out I'm gonna continue to lift weights I'm gonna continue to walk 30 minutes a day um, five days a week. So I um, plan my plan. Again, I'm making these plans, but I'm sure God is like, girl. But anyway, I'm making these plans. But my my hope and my prayer is that I do not gain 50 pounds during this pregnancy. Um, I want to stay active. I want to continue to eat healthy. Um, in my last couple pregnancies, I gained about 20 to 25 pounds, which was healthy. Um, you know, it's not outrageous. I just, um, you know, I want to keep it in a healthy range. I don't want to have to lose 50 pounds after this baby is born. Um, but I'll do whatever it takes to have a healthy baby. So <clears throat> here we are. Um, but this is super unexpected. <laughs> um, and that's why I started the video off by saying, and I was obviously joking guys is, you know, we were not careful, obviously, but we just were not expecting it. We definitely were not planning it. My, I was in denial. So my husband had to actually be like, when are you going to take a test? Like, when are you going to take a test? Like, because, you know, and I, I was, I was actually just like, look, I'm going to wait until my app. Cause of course I have a period app. I'm going to wait until my app says 14 days late on my period. <laughs> like, well, I was delusional y'all. My app said when I finally took a pregnancy test, I was 11 days late on my period. So I was like, you know what? My nipples were so sore. I've been getting so exhausted, which has turned up since I found out, but um, the symptoms were there. I just didn't want to believe it, and so I didn't want to take a test. As soon as I took that test, y'all, that thing came up just like that. Um, it came up so quick. I mean, the lines were dark, and so I was like, my husband actually looked at it, and he was like, <laughs> he was like, what does two lines mean? I was like, you know, those like people where they like, literally like are so just dis not disappointed, but I I'm saying these wrong words, y'all, because it's the truth. I was not happy at first, but I literally like slid down the wall because I was like, are you freaking kidding me? <sighs> I still can't believe it, y'all. <laughs> but anyway, um, we are here. I'm pregnant. Um, the baby is due in J January 4th is the due date. Um, I'm sure it's going to be born in December due to my history of just how my body does. Um, anyway, so I'm going to continue to take you on. That. I'm going to take you on that journey with me if you're wanting to be on it. But again, I am definitely going to continue to show what I eat in a day, healthy workouts that I'm going to be doing for my body and my baby. Um, and yes, yeah, so we are going to embrace it. We are embracing it. Um, it's, it's definitely a um work in progress for me um i'm um trying to mentally wrap my mind my mind around this um we have not told many people um and i really don't want to tell many people until i get my surclage which will happen on june 27th i'll be 12 no i'll be 13 weeks at that time um and so <sighs> deep breath but um when i get my surclage after that, I'll feel a little bit more comfortable telling people. Um, and as far as the gender goes, so my husband and I have decided that we are going to find out the gender, just him and I, and we're not going to tell anybody until the baby is born. Um, not even our kids. So we're not even going to tell um, the 13 year old or the four year old what what the gender is. Like no one is going to know, obviously, because they might share it with somebody. Um, but we don't want anybody to know. We just want this final baby, the final baby to be a surprise for everybody around us who's going to love it and care for it but um we just want to keep that to ourselves so we did decide now initially we were actually like him and i were actually not going to find out either but i know myself and i need to know who's inside so um him and i decided that we'll just find out and keep it a secret 
um, until the baby's born. So that's going to be exciting. Um, and so I will not be sharing the gender once I find out. Um, but I'm excited. I am getting excited. There's like ups and downs, but God knows best. That's just what I'm leaning on. I'm leaning on him during this time. Um, he knows best. He has a plan. Sorry, I'm getting ready to cry. He has a plan for our family. Even though this was not expected, um, he has a plan for our family. Um, I was not really, like my baby, my four-year-old um, will be almost five when this baby is born, like pretty much two or three months shy of being five. So it's kind of like, to me, it's starting over, but that's fine. We're starting, we're about to go through this all over again. <laughs> um, but this, I mean, obviously it's a blessing. Like it's a blessing. Babies are a blessing. Babies are blessings. Um, and I, again, I'm leaning on God. I'm leaning on my husband. Um, my family, once they find out, I'm leaning, I'll be leaning on them for support. Um, and my, I know my four-year-old is going to be super, super, super excited. He's going to be excited. And I'm actually very excited for him um, to be a big brother, to see him in a different way. Ooh, that's going to be different. But, okay, anyway, let me stop. Just to think of him <clears throat> as a big brother just really got me. But that's all. Let me hear it. I'm going to just literally post this video. So thanks, guys. Um, again, stick around. And here's a new journey, okay? And I'm going to show you my baby bump now. I am six weeks and six days. So I turn a new week on Saturdays. So tomorrow is Saturday, May 18th, and I'll be seven weeks tomorrow. So I'm going to show you my little bump because I actually do have one. Um, I have, I'm down 12 pounds. But I do have a little baby bump here. Um, and this is not me. It is literally a bump because I don't have any, like if you look, this is not, I don't have barely any rolls on the side. Like, I don't know. This is a bump because I feel things happening. <laughs> I did not have this bump two, three weeks ago. Okay. Um, so anyway. Whew. So yeah, I'll see you guys on the next video. <laughs>